around to the other side. So that side is, is how we did it for style A1, where we don't have any add-on pieces. So last year, what I was saying before, go ahead and cover your eyes, Emma. We had some people with really thin hair that had some trouble keeping their ringlets with their clip in because their hair was really thin here. You have the option to try doing another part right here, clipping this hair out of the way, doing some a little bit of back combing right here. And hairspraying so that that stays let it dry and in our live demo I showed taking this piece and bringing it all the way back and joining it with the ponytail just slipping an elastic over both sides and then doing our front sweep you can do that or you can just simply join it in with this section where I made that part was the top of Emma's eyebrow and it almost just above her temples right there so that when I lift this section and clip in her pieces there's some back combing right there that gives her some friction for those clips so Emma's if you'll have a couple of bobby pins handy right mm -hmm. there that'd be great help so I smooth straight down and you'll remember me saying in the live demo that people would say, I can do one side really well, but not the second one. Remember to switch hands. <laughs> I have to remember that. I'll go part way and then I'll, whoops, I forgot to switch hands and I can't do it like I did the other side. I come down to where I can feel the top of her ear, straight down. I'm gonna bring this hair back, move my thumb out of the way, into an L shape, kind of coaxing it into a bit of a slant here. And I can look in that big mirror. Mateo, will you go to that big mirror? I can look in that big mirror and I can get a good idea of how high or low the other side is so that I'm not way up here and I'm not way down here. So I'm going to use my mirror. Go ahead and turn back here, Tay. Thank you. All right, so I've got my little L shape here. So now do I remember, do I turn down or up? I turn down. I'm going to turn down. I'm going to twist not too tight got my finger stuck there and now I'm gonna let go I've got the trick here too is don't have your hand way out here playing with it keep it right close to the head and I'm gonna twist it around under here take my thumb M's can I have a bobby pin thank you I'm gonna take my bobby pin and grab some of the twisted hair, bring it down to the base of her scalp where the ponytail is, go towards her face. Give me one more, thank you. I'm gonna take some down here. And I can come back and hide those better if I need to. All right, another bobby pin, Emma. Come all the way back here, Matea, so people can see back up a bit. Thank you. So I've got this here all the way down. Okay, this is part one. Take a look at the front of her face here. This is the first part. If you are a character who never shows their bun, <laughs> you're lucky in that. It doesn't matter what your bun's going to look like. You don't have to braid it and make it fancy. You can twist the hair like this and wrap it around. And you can pin it. I would recommend if you're someone who is going to be having a bonnet on and off, even if you're not gonna be showing your bun, make sure it's bobby pinned really, really well. And also you have the option of using a hairnet to help keep your bun 
secures from friction from the bonnet. All right, we're gonna pause and do part two in one second.